All right, guys, you got the unmistakable shake of my phone hauling an empty trailer right now. I'm hauling that trailer and calling me one thing. I'm gonna go check out a giant collection. So we are going to check out a collection of, uh, I guess it sounds like a little bit of everything, from Star Wars and G.I. Joe, uh, a little bit of everything. And it's a uh, two storage unit for it. So we're gonna go check it out, see if we can strike a deal. Um, I'll let you know, hopefully uh, we can work something out. Jen, he said it's like 200 boxes or so, so we'll see. It's, uh, Kind of a mystery because I sent me a picture of one box. Um, but I don't know if we'll find out. This might just be a bust, but let's hope it's not. All right, guys, so here's what we got we have two storage units. How big is this one? Like 10 by it's like a single car garage. So we got a bunch of different toys, there's a variety of stuff from Star Wars to Star Trek. Um, so we're buying everything here, and then there's a smaller unit that's about that size. On the other side, we're grabbing there's some stuff we're not taking, like um, a bunch of little occupied Japan. Uh, Pots and not pots and pans, like little. I was gonna say, I was gonna say pastries, but dishes. I'm hungry, you can tell. So I'll give you guys a little peek of some of the stuff. That's some shirts, but um, we got a lot of uh, Star Wars. We got new stuff. We got some vintage stuff. It's pretty cool. We'll go through this in more detail later, but I'll just show you guys some of the stuff. Some new stuff and a giant piano that I don't know what that goes to. Dura logs, but we have some Power of the Force stuff. Um, some Simpsons stuff. It's a good mix of, uh, of stuff here to, to throw on the shelves, so. I'm sweating, it's hot out. He lied, he said they were air-conditioned units. He, he, I can't put that on there. <laughs> we're gonna bleep that out. <laughs> so, all right guys, we're gonna get this stuff loaded and I'll, I'll go through some of the stuff when we get back to the bunker here, so. All right, so here's the other storage unit. Like I said, it was a smaller one, but we got a bunch of boxes mixed stuff. Star Wars, some Star Trek. Um, trailer's filled pretty cool. And a mask Did you just take it off my truck with your key? Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> oh, lockpick. Let's see. Let's see. I got lockpicks. Okay, I'm going to change my lockout. But um, a bunch of, there's new stuff. There's old stuff. We got some vintage um, figures. We got modern figures. There's a bunch of everything. So it's a pretty cool little collection, except for Star Trek. But um, should be able to fit it all in the trailer here. But we'll go through it all here uh, in a little bit. As long as my, lo yeah, my lock's back on there. Okay. All right, guys, well, we're back. We got all this stuff. Um, it was grueling. It was so muggy out here. It's disgusting. Um, and as you guys know, I hate sweating. I don't hate working. I just hate the sweat part. It's gross. But anyways, I'll uh, turn this around. I'll give you a sneak peek. It's a little too hot out here for me to start dragging this out and going through it. But uh, I'll turn the camera around and give you a little bit better idea of what we have here. All right. I know right off the bat you might see this. And like, yeah, that's kind of crap. You know, you got some first, uh, you know, Star Wars Episode One stuff, which isn't the best. Um, some Dick Tracy. There there's a, a lot of uh, new stuff. There's a lot of old stuff. Like there's an ad at in the box from Star Wars. We got this uh, talking Jedi, uh, talking alarm clock. So it's a mix of all kinds of stuff. We have like some old Mego. We got what, that's the Gorn, I think. Right now, what is that? I don't know. We got the aliens from Star Trek, uh, Migos. Again, it's a mix of like good stuff and kind of some cucka stuff. But there's vintage Star Wars action figures. There's like three cases of loose figures. Um, I found one little baggie of weapons. And again, this is just a sneak peek, guys, because as you can see, my trailer is packed full. I keep hitting my head on this stupid spring. It's lower than the door. But, um, so you got, um, a couple more of the aliens from the Amigo line. You got, uh, Uhara. But there's, like, three of these that are full of figures. Oh, this one has a modern guy. I didn't open this one yet. But, um, so we have the vintage ones. You got two Boba Fetch. You got Dengar, World Guard, Boss. Oh, Blue Snaggletooth. I didn't, like I said, I didn't even open this one. I mean, I was just, we were going through stuff kind of rapidly. So that's nice. That's a good little find. I didn't realize he was in there. Let's see looking. Not bad. So hopefully there's a weapon in there. And on these cases, guys, I always look underneath because a lot of times the weapons would fall underneath. Wow, I did not expect to find that in there. I didn't even, I didn't even open this case. I opened the other two and just saw that they were kind of filled up with a uh, kind of bulkish figures, it looked like. We have some card backs, though. Goes to show. Gotta look through everything. I like this one I opened up um, and looked at it and there's another one I think I threw in another one of these boxes because it was not closing and we're trying to do this fast because it's hot outside but I mean you have Wicked here with his weapon um, have a couple R2s with their sensor scopes still that one is not the sensor scope version that's, so that's a new one right yeah that's a newer Han Solo so like I said it's a mix of old and new stuff guys um, oh there's a orange snake Yoda with his weapon he's, he's complete Again, I opened the top. I didn't, you know, like I said, I probably should have opened these all the way and went through them all, but I didn't. I saw what we saw. Um, figured 
from the price on that because obviously I'm not going to have time to go through everything right there on the scene. So, but yeah, Luke has his uh, saber still, which is neat. And then we have this. This looks like it's uh, some of the Mego accessories, maybe. There's all kinds of just random stuff. You got a lot of old stuff. There's a lot of new stuff. There's some, I think there's two Death Star play sets. You got a, an ad at, like I said, but new, old, mix of everything. It's almost like it would be a perfect lot to buy if you had a toy store. Oh, wait a second. I do have a toy store. So we're going to go through a lot of this stuff in more detail here. Um, when it cools down a little bit, it has just been sweltering up here for the last couple days in Michigan and like the last couple weeks, honestly. It's been so humid and muggy. Um, but actually here in the shade and inside the trailer is not too bad. But then you have like a lot of this um, Power of the Force stuff, which, you know, it's, it's still cool. And it's good to have stuff. Ooh, Star Wars tie. I might wear that at our grand opening. And so we didn't even, I, basically I opened the boxes, kind of peeked in them all and uh, looked through what's in there. Got some Star Wars Band-Aids. Like I'd open it and say, okay, this is Simpsons or this is whatever. I, I didn't, we didn't really dig through it all because, one, it's miserable outside. I haven't said that enough. It was miserable outside. And two, I just really didn't have the time to do it. Because the, the gent who I purchased this stuff from, he lives like five hours away and he came down at the storage unit. And I don't know, I guess he just buys storage units. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but he had two storage units and uh, it was Star Wars. And this was in a different box. I threw it in there just to make room so it closed flat. The other box went closed flat. But we have a bunch of Simpsons stuff, so a lot of nostalgia, a lot of uh, really cool stuff. And again, I'm going to be finding surprises going through this stuff because I haven't gone through it all. I've sh I barely looked at any of these, honestly. You know, I just kind of got an idea. Let's get some little micro machine type cars there. But you guys are going to get to go through this with me. Um, we probably aren't going to go through it all in one sitting, obviously, because there's a ton of boxes here. Um, but we'll try to get through all this stuff over the next couple weeks. Um, so it's going to have to get all priced and inventoried. But I am excited to see what's in some of these. I know there's a lot of McFarlane stuff. Um, some of this, this, the music guys that he does. Um, like the, the music guys, the musician, musicians. There's some gremlins. I know there's a box in here that was uh, stuff full of stuffed Ewoks, like the vintage ones. All kinds of stuff, like cards, uh, Star Wars card sets, things like that. So you name it, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, there's a couple boxes. Like that one up top, it's nothing but like Power of the Force stuff, all on card. Again, not super valuable. But when you're getting everything, you got to get everything. So, dancing Jar Jar Binks Bank. That's cool. I mean, well, eh, I didn't think it would work. So, anyways, guys, that's a quick sneak peek of what we have here. Yes or no? Wear the R2D2 tie. Grand opening. I'll wear that with a t shirt. I don't have any t shirts with collars anymore, I don't think. I do. But, anyways, that's a sneak peek. We'll go through some of this stuff in more detail. Keep, keep in touch. Keep in touch. See, I mean, nothing makes sense. I'm so hot right now. Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, and all that fun stuff so you can get the alerts when we start going through some of these boxes. But there's going to be some cool stuff in here. There's stuff that I saw in here that I don't even know what it is. This one is full of, like, rock and roll jackets. So, all kinds of stuff. Um, there's going to be some cool stuff. So, like I said, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when we get new videos uploaded, especially going through this stuff and with all the updates of the shop we're doing. Pushing, 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 pushing for, like, October um, to get this place open. So, we'll guys, obviously, guys, we'll let you know. Um, keep you in a loop. And, yes, I'm talking fast. I'm, like, just, it's hot. I want to get out of here. Oh, my spurs. Anyways, I got some stuff I got to go do at the shop. And uh, my hashtag is another small collection, which, actually, I'll, I'll show you that one here. It's, it's a couple boxes. I'll show you that one. All right, so I picked this one up, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, I haven't had a chance to show you guys, but I'll show you. It's three boxes. It's mainly DC um, action figures from like the early 2000s, late 90s. So this is actually separate from this uh, storage unit haul, but stink. It's actually a nice breeze out here in the shade, so this isn't too bad. So we have some cool stuff here, like Battle Armor, Batman, and the Joker. And we have the DC Universe Captain Cold here. This is the only one like this. The rest of them are all like Batman and uh, this is a Toy Biz. No, Mattel. We do have one Transformer, which is in the box. Which is Soundwave. Toys R Us exclusive. And then we have Batman and the Scarecrow Fear Collector set. It looks like it comes with a comic book in there. That's pretty neat. The Killing Joke. Look at that's how I'm gonna dress. If I was the Joker, I'd be wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Includes a graphic novel, novel of the Killing Joke. That's pretty cool. And we have a couple of these uh, Gotham City Thug, Dark Knight. And Power Punch Joker. And I'm not sure exactly what line this is from, but we got this Han Solo as a Stormtrooper, and his helmet is in there. 
So that's the only loose figure that was with this collection. But this was a gentleman who's actually visiting his parents from out of town. And his parents said, hey, we got all these toys in here. What do you want to do with them? And uh, he decided he wanted to sell them. So he contacted me and here they are. So let's move on to this box. This is probably my favorite one out of here. We got this uh, Harley Quinn with her two pet hyenas from the New Adventures of Batman. That's a 12 inch doll. Towel, action figure, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's pretty neat. And a couple more of these guys here. Yep, Heath, Le Heath, Heath Ledger is the Joker. We got the Scarecrow. Hey, Stinky. Uh oh, I got company. All right, so my daughter just woke up from her nap and she came out and told me she's awake. So we have this Joker here. That's pretty cool. This guy's a little creepy with that uh, from the toy guy. What's his name? Toy maker? I don't know. Can't remember his name. We got the Two Face from the Long Halloween. These are pretty neat. Pretty neat figures. They are all on card or in box, I guess you should say. We got this Batman Dark, Dark Victory here. He's neat. Cool, cool, cool. I'm excited to go through that big collection though, guys. There's a lot of stuff in there, and it's gonna be like a treasure hunt, because like I said, I just opened the tops to kind of see if they were in there, because some of the stuff wasn't toys, and um, like I wasn't buying the old dishes. The Hush from Batman. We got Joker from Hush. And the Riddler from Hush. I've never read the Hush line, or story arc. And then we got Rorschach, probably pronouncing it Rorschach. From Watchmen. And this last box, like I said, this is a small little, small little collection, but something just kind of wet the whistle while we, uh, it's actually nice. I should probably get a couple of those boxes out, but I have the work to do at the shop and I have to get all this stuff priced and inventoried and ready to go for when we open up. There's some wind out here, but then we have the rest of the Watchmen. Hey, baby. Are you on your scooter? Okay. She's out here on her scooter. She's scooting. Uh, we got Batman. Alright, and then we got just the rest of the Watchmen figures here. I think this is based on the movie. So we got the Comedian. Exclusive variant. Got Dr. Manhattan. Did you see this Watchmen movie? I, I saw it. I thought it was alright. It wasn't bad. Night Owl. I think these are based on the actual movie though, because they kind of look like the actors. But maybe they just did a good job casting him. Silk Spectre. I don't know. Maybe these aren't. Maybe these aren't based on the movie. I don't know. You guys, someone out there will know. I don't really deal with watching stuff that often. It's a classic Night Owl. There's two left. We have Ozzy Mandias. Ozzy Mandias. Ozzy Mandias. I don't know. Something like that. And another Vorchak um, without his mask on. Walter Kovacs. So, come watch, explore with what we're going to find in here. This is a ton of stuff. It's like I said, two storage units worth of toys. Um, it's going to be fun to go through. Like I said, I didn't know there was a blue snag in there. That, that's cool. That's awesome. I'm really happy to see that in there. Um, but yeah, who knows what other mysteries this thing holds. We'll find out. Catch you guys next time.